So let's see today's pear gourd ladu recipe. Now here I'm going to dry roast 500 grams of white polish peel or sesame seeds. We're going to dry roast them on a low to medium heat, stirring continuously until it uh, the white color turns to a light golden brown color. So this took me exactly about five minutes, stirring continuously on a low to medium heat. Now once it's roasted, it will look like this, a little darker in color, and you transfer this to a large plate. Now in the same pan, I'm going to add 250 grams of desiccated coconut, and again I'm going to dry roast this till it turns a light golden brown in color. So this took me about just one minute because coconut gets roasted really fast. So again, transfer this also and add it to the peel. Now in the same pan, I'm going to add one tablespoon of cuscus or poppy seeds. Again, roast this very, like, you know, not even for a minute, half a minute or so. And transfer that also to the mixture. So now we finish with our roasting. Now to this, I'm first going to mix these three ingredients well together. And to that, I'm going to add 250 grams of roasted peanut powder. I leave the instructions of how to make this roasted peanut powder. It's also called Shaindana Sakut. Now in a heavy bottomed pan, I'm going to add four tablespoons of ghee or clarified butter. Once the ghee is nice and hot, I'm going to add 500 grams of chikki ghoul. So you get this in... Uh, in all, uh, you know, grocery stores, just tell them you want this to make the teer gul ladu. So you get this special kind of gul. It's called chikki gul. And it's a little orange in color. It's not like the regular white color that we use. And it is available 12 months of the year. Now we're going to melt this ghee, uh, the uh, gul in the ghee really, really well. Once it is completely melted, just take it off the gas or take it off the heat. And now we're going to add this mixture of uh, desiccated coconut, peanut powder, uh, the cuscus and the sesame seeds to this ghoul. And then we're going to mix this really well. Now to this, I'm also going to add one teaspoon of elaichi powder or cardamom powder. I just took five elaichis and, you know, I made a powder of the cardamoms. And I'm going to add that too. And now using a wooden spoon with a very long handle, just mix everything really, really well. And remember the mixture is really hot, so please take care. And ensure that all of the melted ghoul coats this dry uh, coconut peel, roasted peanuts really, really well. Now you have to be a little bit fast so that you know uh, the ghoul doesn't really solidify immediately. So be a little quick. You can take the help of your family members also and just stir it really really well now once you have mixed all this really well just transfer it to a large steel plate that will be easier for you to uh, you know roll the ladus and you again you have to work while the mixture is hot so just apply some ghee or melted butter to your palm, the palm of your hands and then just roll out these Ladus and the smaller, I mean, you know, they should not be too large, they shouldn't be too small, it should just be, uh, you know, the right size. So, this is the right size, just take a little bit. And one tip I, I go, I like to share here is don't, uh, you know, use the top of the heap of the mixture, try to take it from the sides. The top of the mixture is really piping hot, whereas the sides are cooler. And that's it, friends. I got about, I think, a hundred, I really didn't count because. Me and my family members keep kept, uh, you know, enjoying, uh, you know, popping one of them in our mouth all the time. So I think approximately 100 or 150. So do try out this recipe. Friends, I hope you liked today's recipe as well as today's video. And if you would like to see more videos like this, then don't forget to leave this video a big thumbs up. Also, by, by clicking the thumbs up icon. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and become a part of Akshita's recipes. Once you have subscribed, there is a small little bell icon that will pop up. So just click on that. That way, whenever I put up a new recipe or a new video, you'll get a message for the same. So on that note, I'll say bye and I'll catch you in my next video sooner than you think. This is Akshita saying bye, take care, stay healthy, stay fit, be kind and loving to one another. So till we meet again, bye.